Along the rugged skyline of the Pacific Northwest, a snow-covered peak rises quietly just south of the Canadian border, and for decades it has blended into the background, familiar, distant, and easy to overlook. Mount Baker looks frozen in time, its white crown towering above forests and river valleys. Yet that calm appearance is beginning to worry scientists. This is not a volcano isolated in wilderness. It sits close enough that its rivers flow north into Canada through shared watershed systems documented by regional geological surveys, and its hazards do not stop at political borders. Recent observations suggest Baker is no longer behaving like a mountain fully at rest, and that realization has shifted concern into urgency among researchers who watch the Cascades. What makes Baker especially dangerous is not dramatic explosions, but what happens when heat meets ice. The mountain holds vast glaciers on its upper slopes, and those frozen masses hang directly above valleys that lead toward populated areas. In past events, similar volcanoes did not need large eruptions to cause devastation. Sudden melting alone was enough to unleash fast-moving floods of mud and debris that raced through river systems with little warning. Scientists warn that Baker's greatest threat is speed, because destructive flows can begin before communities even realise something is wrong. What has triggered renewed attention is a subtle internal change detected beneath the mountain. Instruments have recorded unusual internal movement, signals subtle enough to escape public notice but serious enough to demand scrutiny. On their own, these changes do not guarantee disaster, but taken together, they suggest the volcano is no longer fully stable beneath the surface. Baker has followed this pattern before, long calm periods interrupted by sudden change, and history shows that when internal activity returns after years of silence, the margin for error narrows quickly. As scientists examine these early signs, one question now hangs over the region. Is Mount Baker simply adjusting deep underground? Or are these the first steps toward a danger that could move far faster than anyone expects? Mount Baker sits above a powerful geological engine that never truly shuts off. And understanding that engine explains why recent signals matter. Baker is part of the Cascade Volcanic Arc, formed where an oceanic plate slides beneath North America a process called subduction. You can imagine it like a slow-moving conveyor belt dragging cold rock downward into deep heat where it begins to melt. That melt becomes magma, and because it is rich in gas and thicker than runny lava, it does not flow easily. Instead, gas gets trapped, pressure builds, and the system behaves more like a sealed pressure cooker than an open faucet. As magma and hot fluids move underground, they leave fingerprints scientists know how to read. One of those fingerprints is seismic activity that does not look like normal earthquakes, slow underground movements caused by hot fluids pushing through cracks rather than rock snapping suddenly. These tremors are deeper and slower, often caused by hot fluids squeezing through cracks rather than plates snapping past each other, similar to the muffled creaking you hear when ice shifts beneath a frozen lake. Another signal is ground deformation. Tiny changes in the shape of the mountain measured in millimeters, like a heavy blanket lifting slightly as something presses upward from below. On their own, these signals can come and go, but together they show the system is active and reorganizing, not dormant. Heat is the third warning sign, and at Baker, it matters more than almost anywhere else. The volcano is capped by thick glaciers, and even small increases in heat can weaken ice and the rock beneath it. Hydrothermal systems, which are networks of hot water and steam inside the mountain that act like hidden pipes carrying heat through solid rock, can quietly erode solid rock from within, making slopes unstable without any eruption at all. When that weakened material collapses or melts suddenly, gravity does the rest, turning ice, water and debris into fast-moving flows that follow river valleys. This combination of trapped pressure, moving fluids, and heavy ice means Baker does not need a dramatic eruption to become dangerous. And as scientists watch these signals align, 
they turn to the past to see how similar patterns have ended before. Mount Baker's recent signals feel unsettling because this volcano has a history of turning quiet change into sudden disruption, even without producing headline-grabbing eruptions. Long before modern monitoring existed, Baker demonstrated that ice-covered volcanoes can be dangerous in ways that are easy to underestimate. In the mid-19th century, particularly in the 1840s, steam explosions and collapses near Sherman Crater triggered lahars that rushed down surrounding river valleys, receiving far beyond the mountain itself. These events were not driven by lava fountains or towering ash columns, but by heat interacting with ice and weakened rock. A reminder that destruction does not always announce itself loudly. The most serious episode came in 1975, when Mount Baker suddenly entered a period of intense unrest. Steam and gas bursts ripped through the summit area, melting large sections of glacier and doubling the size of the crater's bare, steaming ground in a matter of days. Acidic water flowed into Boulder Creek, discoloring rivers downstream, and authorities took the situation seriously enough to lower water levels at Baker Lake out of fear that a collapse or lahar could overwhelm the dam. Scientists rushed to install instruments, helicopters ferried equipment to the crater rim, and for months, the region lived with the possibility that Baker could erupt with little warning. That crisis eventually subsided, but it left behind a crucial lesson. Baker can escalate from internal unrest to surface danger with very little transition time and its greatest danger lies in secondary hazards rather than lava. Across the Cascade Range, similar volcanoes have produced deadly lahars that traveled tens of kilometers, burying valleys, destroying bridges, and reshaping landscapes in minutes. Communities downstream often had no time to react once the flows began. This history is why scientists treat Baker's current signals with caution. The mountain does not need to repeat its past exactly to become dangerous again. And if internal changes continue, the next chapter may unfold faster than memories of the last crisis have faded. Scientists watching Mount Baker are now focused less on eruption imagery and more on timing, because the most dangerous outcomes may begin quietly and unfold fast. Monitoring networks operated by the US Geological Survey show that Baker remains an active volcanic system even during long surface calm, and that future hazards could begin with subtle internal changes rather than obvious explosions. Researchers emphasize that unrest does not follow a schedule and that periods of apparent stability can end abruptly once heat, fluids, or weakened rock reach a tipping point. For communities downstream, the primary concern is not lava, but water and gravity. Baker's glaciers continue to retreat as regional temperatures rise and thinner, fractured ice is more vulnerable to sudden collapse or rapid melting. Studies by US and Canadian geological agencies show that even moderate volcanic heat or slope failure can generate lahars capable of traveling far beyond the mountain, following river systems into lowlands that cross the international border. Unlike eruptions that build over days, these flows can reach populated areas in under an hour, leaving little time for warning or evacuation. Emergency planners in both the United States and Canada acknowledge that preparation is uneven. While hazard maps exist, many communities near the Fraser Valley and connected watersheds have limited volcanic response planning, largely because Baker has been quiet for decades. Scientists stress that this gap between awareness and readiness is itself a risk, because early warning depends not only on sensors, but on how quickly information is understood and acted upon. Mount Baker remains silent for now, its glaciers shining above forests and farms. But history and science agree on one point. Quiet does not mean safe. As Mount Baker sits near the border between Canada and the United States, the question no longer feels academic. If the mountain fails without warning, how many communities on both sides would even know they were in danger before it was already too late?